I'm going to go through some of the financial reporting within Business Central. That's here as standard for you. So the users can do this rather than needing uh, myself or a developer. So whenever you open Business Central, the first screen you are always presented with is your role centre. And within the role centre, like I talked last week, there's my lovely cash flow charts. Um, we have some standard reports within here. So certain accounts I want to keep an eye on uh, just to give you that more knowledge that you want to have a look at my top five customers by sales value. Um, but the main area, as Richard was saying, is the chart of accounts. So the chart of accounts is your income statement and balance sheet. Um, it's where all of our transactions hit whenever we're doing any postings. And this is where you'll spend most of your time during month end doing some reconciliation. Um, so from the chart of accounts, I do have the ability to uh, filter by date. So I'm just adding on my uh, total filter here and I'm just going to filter on April. And what that will do is that now changes the figures within the chart of accounts to reflect April's figures for me. So I can easily do my month end reconciliation from the chart of accounts. I can drill into the figures and see the entries that make this make up the balance within that month. The other thing I used to like to do when I was working in finance was I used this to do my reconciliation. So I'd run my age receivables report and then I'd balance it back to my balance sheet account to make sure they tie back. Um, as Rich briefly talked about earlier, we do have dimensions within Business Central. So dimensions gives you that enhanced reporting from a finance point of view. So if I just go to my income statement, uh, my income service account and my P&L account and get my dimensions up. So I'm just clicking through my dimensions. So what we have done here on this particular account is we have set a department dimension as mandatory. So what this means is whenever a, a user sells anything that's related to that particular nominal code, the system requests that they have to give you a department. This gives you that safety net. So when you're doing your reporting, you haven't got missed data. And the other thing you can do in Business Central is from a customer vendor item or resource, you can actually set them as default. So if a customer had an area of um, the Midlands, you can set them up as the Midlands. And then whenever that customer is put onto a transaction, it automatically populates Midlands. So the user doesn't have to think all they care about is what customer and what am I selling or what am I buying? Um, so the other good place that we also have for the chart of accounts is we have account subcategories and account codes. So I'm just going to go to my GL account categories. So based on my account category and subcategories, I really like it for the balance sheet side. I can easily see my cash, my receivables, my prepaid expenses and my inventory value without having to sum up the individual accounts because I have mapped them to their relevant categories. I find it really useful to see it in a um, combined state rather than the individual accounts because I get the whole picture. So from here, I'm now just going to go to analysis views. So as Richard was saying, the whole system, we like to run on dimensions. My two main dimensions in my examples are going to be department and product. Um, so the analysis views enables us to set up some filters already. So when I do my analysis dimension, which I'm going to go on to now, they're already predefined some of my filters. So my departments and what I like about analysis by dimension, it's a very useful reporting tool as part of month end is I have the flexibility to change what my lines and my columns look like. So obviously the most common one we tend to want to look at is the nominal code versus the period. But with dimensions, you get the flexibility and on the analysis of by dimension, I can do department versus my product. So now I've got a completely different reporting tool just by using that one analysis by dimension and changing my lines and my columns. So if I go to show matrix now, oh, bear me one second, forgot to put my date filter on. <laughs> just going to pop my date filter on. So you can add whatever date filter. It can be month end, weekly, daily. You can do it as little as often as you want to uh, run the matrix. 
So if I show my matrix again, what I have here now is my departments versus the products I have been selling. So you can see it straight in front of you. You can drill into the figures um, and it just gives you that nice reporting tool. One of the other common areas we've had before is customer versus projects. So if you have a customer and you want to know what their project spend is, this is a great tool to use for that. So the next place, which is our main area of, our, I suppose we could say our custom reports, is the account schedules themselves. So within Business Central, we have account schedules. This gives you the ability to make your own custom month end reports based on the chart of accounts. So the first area when dealing with account schedules is setting up your column layout. So your column layout enables you to have one main layout of a report. And as uh, Richard was saying earlier, but the flexibility to change how it looks. So if the FD taps you on the shoulder and says, oh, I need to see what actual versus budget is today. Here's one I made earlier. I can create a column layout for that. So I don't have to keep creating a brand new report. I just change the column layout. Um, so within the column layouts, we obviously have the column number and the head you'd like to call it. But the main ones I want to touch on is the formula. So we can have very simple formulas in here to work out my variances or the difference. But the one I like is the comparison date formula. This gives me the flexibility to compare year on year or May 2020 versus May 2019. So I can see how my months are doing and my years are doing within the column layout. So the main area of the report itself is the account schedule. So whenever you want to edit an account schedule, it always asks you, do you want to make a copy in case you want to keep that one? I'm going to say no for now because I'm not going to edit it. This can be as simple or as complex as the business requires. It can be simply just the chart of accounts being pulled through or just the income side of the chart of accounts. Or one of the more common one is I have income services. This then is broken down per department. So I could add a line for each department and then tag it with that dimension. So instantly I can run a report to show me what my income is doing per department. Um, and see the expenses as well per department. So you have the ability to do your own row numbering, the descriptions that you want, and then you just map it back to the relevant GL accounts. So I'm just gonna very quickly run an overview of the income statement. So this is our lovely income statement that we currently have. So as I said, this, this report we have created, and because I have the column layout, I have the flexibility to change how I want the report to look. So now I have actual versus budget. So the report itself down here has changed. I haven't got to create four different reports because they're all the income statement, but I just need different information from it. And because of how I've done the column layouts, obviously it's feeding through my budget for that particular month. Um, and you can also view it by month, day, week, quarter, year, however you want to report it. And as normal, you have your date filter. Um, from there, we have the ability to add the other dimensions if I hadn't already to look at it from actual versus budget per department. And the other area that I find very handy is with the account schedule, I have the ability to export to Excel. Not only can I export to Excel, I can create a brand new document or the one I like a lot is the fact if I have my management pack, I have the ability to update an existing document. So to add another sheet to my management pack and then I can have my yearly management report. 